Hey guys, and welcome to Learn with Ziva. I have a memory challenge for you. I'm going to show you two pictures, one at a time, for five seconds each. When I show you the pictures, try to memorize as many details as you can from the pictures. Then, for each picture, we're going to see how many details you remember. So let's get started. Here's picture number one. I think that you guys did very well. I did this with my mom and she could recall a lot of things. Some include the girl, her bag, her book, the fox, the pig, and the bus stop. You probably even remembered some of the colors. Now, here is the second picture. How did you do this time? I think it's pretty clear that the first picture was way easier to memorize than the second. Why? Well, the first picture has a lot of visual stuff to it, while the second has a bunch of numbers. We can clearly see that it's easier for our brain to memorize visuals and pictures and shapes rather than numbers just written in lines. We're going to use this idea to help us memorize long numbers by converting them into simpler shapes. So what long numbers should we memorize? Well, I have an idea. Let's memorize pi. Pi is an interesting number that kept people curious for thousands of years. Did you know that the world record for memorizing the most digits of pi is 111,000? That's so many digits. That's too many for this video, so let's just do 100. Let's get started. Now we shall go into voiceover mode. <laughs> so, here are the first 100 digits of pi. Wow, they look scary. Since these are a lot of digits, we're going to break them up into groups of 20 and memorize five groups. Here is the first group of 20 digits. Not as scary, but it's still really long. Now, you might be wondering, how are we going to convert these numbers into shapes? Here is one way. Imagine a grid that has all the numbers from 1 to 100. Each cell in this grid contains two digits. For example, cell 14 has the digits 1 and 4. For consistency, I have written the first nine numbers with 0 in the beginning as well. Back to creating a shape. Do you have any ideas? Well, you might be thinking of putting the numbers into the different cells in our grid. If yes, you're right. So, as you can see, we have 20 digits. Now, let's break them up into pairs of two, so that we have 10 pairs and each pair can fit in a cell. Then, to make the shape, we are going to connect these different cells with arrows. Let's do it together. We are going to be doing the first five pairs first. So, our first number pair is 14. That means it will go right over here. Next, we have the number 15. That means it will go right below 14. After that, we are going to go all the way across the grid to 92. Next, we are going to go to the middle to 65. Then shoot straight across to 35. Those were the first five numbers. 14, down to 15, then all the way across the grid to 92, then go to the middle, 65, and finally straight across to 35. So, can you see a shape forming on your screen? Even if you don't realize this right now, your brain is actually remembering the shape and all the numbers in it. Don't believe me? Pause the video and try it yourself right now. Close your eyes and recall all the numbers in order starting from 14. Imagine the grid and all the numbers connected by arrows in your head. How did you do? I'm pretty sure that you did way better than you expected yourself to do. Now let's do the next five pairs. So we ended on 35. After that, we'll go down to the corner over to 89. Then go one space back over to 79. After that, we'll shoot straight back up towards 32. Then go straight down to 38 and finally, a little bit up over to 46. Is it becoming too much? Don't worry, trust your brain to remember it for you. 
So let's quickly see that again. 35 towards the bottom corner to 89. Then move one space back over on 79. After that, go straight back up to 32. Then a little down again to 38. Finally, we go back up to 46. We'll just do the whole thing together one last time. And this time, I'm going to remove the digits from the grid. I'm also going to ask you first to see if you know the next number. Remember, trust your brain. So, we start from 14. Do you remember where we went next? Yes, down to 15. What's after that? That's correct, to 92, right at the end. What's after 92? Yep, 65. And after that? Right across to 35. Now, this may be tricky. Where from 35? Yes, and so from 35, we went to 89. And then jump one space back to 79. And then shoot straight back up to 32. And do you remember from there? That's right, down to 38. And sharp turn to 46. It's okay if you don't remember all the numbers in the first go. If you do this multiple times, you'll soon be an expert at the first 20 digits of pi. It's still a long way to 111,000, but 20 is a start. Well, I know I said that we will do 100 digits, but I think you got the point. For the remaining 80 or more digits, you can build your own shapes and stories. Your brain will remember your own creations better. That is the end of voiceover mode. I hope you found this technique useful, and you don't have to use it just for pi. You can use it to remember any important phone numbers or just any digits you want. For more fun videos together, please subscribe to my channel and keep learning!